Hello everyone, he is Nathan Cavalcante from São Paulo, Brazil. Uh, today we are going to talk about automatic purchase order based on MRP purchase requisition. In fact, our last uh, tip of the day, we have discussed about um, how to create, how to run MRP and create automatically purchase requisition based on MRP. Okay? So let's just say this tip of the day is just a con uh, continuation of our previous tip. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, let me provide you a scenario example. Um, let's just say a company needs constantly raw material supply from the same vendor or same supplier. Uh, fixed suppliers with or without contract. Uh, that is the idea. Uh, multiple manual purchase orders are created based on the requirements. Example, MRP reorder point. Uh, so, what I would you like to share with you? Is, this is a classical example. You have a company that uh, needs raw material from a supplier. Let's just say it is a fixed supplier. The supplier you purchase every day, every week, or every month, I don't know, depending on the company. And uh, there is a huge work for, for purchase department that is just create purchase order. So, uh, for how materials? Uh, that means a lot of work. Okay? So, the idea is to take advantage uh, of a uh, let's just say a power tool, standard tool from SAP. The idea is to facilitate the, the creation of purchase orders to automation. Also, using a legion tool, legion tool available from, for purchasing department, a purchasing process, uh, and a best use of time. Uh, beer, uh, the buyer will only analyze the automatic purchase order. Buyer will no longer create manually purchase order. So that's the idea. Uh, SAP will create the purchase order based on, on purchase requisition uh, that came from MRP. So M MRP will control the needs. M MRP uh, will generate per automatically purchase requisition based on the law quantities you have on the stock. And we will use um, automatic automatic purchase order creation in order to convert that purchase requisition that you have created by MRP to purchase order. That's the idea. Okay? Uh, so in order to, per to perform that task, we have some prerequisites that we have to, to follow and complete. Uh, first of all, we have to perform some adjustment. Uh, just one adjustment in material mass and records. Okay? Uh, on purchasing view, we have to check the automatic purchase order. So I'm going to do it right now in order to show you how to do that and just um, how to do this process. I'm going to transaction code MMO2. I'm going to work with this material. I'm going on purchasing uh, purchasing view. Plan to 100 and uh, we are going to check or flag this, this field, automatic PO, okay? Uh, the other, other adjustment we have done in our pre previous tip, remember? We have adjusted uh, uh, the reorder, reorder point, it was in MRP1, remember? Reorder, reorder point is 100, we have set the lot size, so we haven't done any change here, only on purchasing view. Let's just save our material and go back to our presentation. Uh, next step, uh, next prerequisite is vendor master record. Uh, on purchasing view, we must perform the same adjustment. We must check the automatic purchase order field. So let's do that. I'm going to choose transaction code XK02. We are going to work with this vendor. 
let us go to purchasing view uh, out here purchasing data only purchasing data is enough and you have to check this field here automatic purchase order and save okay so we have completed the second prerequisite the third third one create info records uh, material vendor and plant uh, why we have uh, why it's necessary to have info record because in info record uh, we are going to store uh, information uh, very important information in order to create our purchase order such as the price or uh, the tax code okay uh, I'm going to quickly create uh, my info record so here is a vendor we are work, we are going to work in uh, the material the purchase purchasing organization and the plant I'm going to create a standard uh, standard info record okay uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to show all fields in for info record creation just the uh, the minimum the most relevant that we need for this process okay uh, let's just go to purchase organization data here's my purchasing group I will leave this one uh, standard quantity just say that I, I purchase a hundred kilograms uh, is only the mandatory fields net price let's just say I purchase at 10 reais each, each kilo kilogram uh, my tax code I'm going to work with I0 no tax this is just a test okay uh, I'm hitting enter and I'm going to save I think I have everything there conditions for me not necessary only the price and the tax code okay uh, this is enough in order to create the purchase order I'm gonna save and the system has generated this info record number let let me just bring the number here okay when we create automatically our purchase order we are going to find this, this field there okay I'm going to show you so um, you have to make sure uh, you, you have to make sure the prices uh, are correct okay um, before using this tool uh, here as I didn't have uh, info records for this process for the combination of this vendor this material and the, in this plant that is a hundred I had to create it manually but uh, probably you already have an info record all you have to do is just go to the next step okay if you already have info record okay uh, next one is we have to create a uh, loft and tell the system uh, that this vendor is my fixed vendor or supplier okay so let's just go to transaction code MA01 this is the material okay let us say this is valid, valid from the beginning of this year until eternity vendor Let, let me pick the vendor code I don't have it in my mind right now this is the one purchase organization you have to provide this information okay if you are going to work with contracts you can you can use these fields okay uh, in fact, I would suggest that you try to, to do the same test using contracts to see the 
the difference, okay? I wanna tell the system that's my uh, fixed vendor, okay? Uh, fixed source, and I'm going to tell the system that this record is relevant to MRP, right? Uh, and I'm going to generate this record. It will be deleted. I have other records here. Ah, uh, in fact, I shouldn't do that. This is an agreement that I already have. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I shouldn't do that. Let's just do it again. And the vendor is this one. I will not generate the, the records, okay? Uh, I generate the record is uh, you don't need to do it manually. Uh, I should only just save, okay? Uh, this, this button is uh, system you generate records based on uh, the previous purchase order contracts you have pro you have done with this this vendor for this material. So sorry, I just pressed the wrong button. So again, I create the loft, the source list. Um, here I, I had put from the beginning beginning of this, this month until eternity, right? Vendor, this is the vendor, this is purchase organization. I tell the system this is my fixed source and my MRP here is relevant. This required is relevant to MRP and just save, okay? All right, let me check. This is here. All right, so I think you have everything done in order to to do the test, okay? Uh, I have done MMO2, have done XKO2, we have created the info record MA11, MA01, we have created the loft. And now we're going to run MRP. If we go through MMBA transaction code, you can see that I don't have any, any quantity here. Only one kilo in a, a vendor. Uh, it's a provide, stock provided to vendor. Just one piece, no problem at all. We are not going to work with this one. Uh, that means we can run MRP. So this is the material, MRP added is the same for plant, 100, uh, O100. Uh, let's just create a purchase order, a purchase acquisition, sorry. Also, uh, I, don't, I don't want to schedule lines. Okay, I, we can create a MRP list. My planning mode is delete and recreate the planning data. And I would like to display the results before they are saved, okay? So hit enter, enter again. All right, so system tells me that I don't have nothing in the stock, any quantity in my stock. Uh, I have one piece in this vendor for subcontracting process, but the system will generate a purchase requisition. Uh, this one, uh, 9555 for uh, 499 quantities. I'm gonna so save. Okay. This is saved. That means now we have already the purchase requisition. So far, uh, I'm running MRP exactly as I have done in our previous uh, tip. Okay. So now we must have a purchase requisition. Ah, okay. Uh, now I'm just double click here in the purchase acquisition system brings me the, uh, my vendor uh, My fixed vendor that we have provided before in loft, right? Let's just see the purchase acquisition It's here Okay So that means uh, We are ready to generate automatic purchase order 
So here's the MRP controller. Okay. Uh, I'm doing the test just for one purchase requisition, but ha you can uh, have in your mind that you can do that for several purchase requisitions, okay? Uh, the idea is just to show you how it works. And now uh, we just saw the purchase requisition. Now let's let us go through transaction code MA559 and in order to generate our purchase order automatically. I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope you are going you are able to understand. Uh, okay, here are my criteria fields. Okay. I'm going to run for purchase organization or 100. I can put here the vendor if I want. Uh, if not, I can leave uh, leave this field blank. Okay, but uh, in order to avoid mistakes, I will let the vendor here. Okay. Uh, you can create uh, a job that can run every day. Okay. Uh, this transaction coding can create automatically every day new purchase orders. Okay, it's up to you to decide how to work. I would just would like to show you uh, the idea. Uh, I'm going to do that by requisition. Okay, you can do that by plant, you can do that by started location. How to, you're going to create new purchase orders. Uh, for me, I would like to create, uh, for each purchase requisition, I would like to have a new purchase order. Okay. You can try different uh, options here. For example, if you have the same vendor for several materials, and if you run for plant, uh, system uh, or by vendor, uh, it's possible in the same purchase order for the same vendor, it's possible to have several materials. Okay. Once again, it's up to you to decide how you're going to create your purchase orders. I'm going to. Uh, to create based on purchase requisition because it's the easy way to show you guys it's working okay how it works uh, also uh, I will not run test uh, I want to create the purchase order and I would like system provide me um, all messages on my log okay also it's good uh, if he uh, you ask the system to set the purchase requisition as closed after uh, the system creates the purchase order, okay? So I'm gonna tell always. Uh, you can save this screen selection, okay? As a variant, and you can run later. Well, you can see there are a lot of options, okay? For automatic purchase order creation I'm just using the most simple options okay so let's just run our report and cross your fingers and let's see if it will happen or not my system is pretty pretty slow but okay here it is uh, here we have uh, so here, here we have the vendor okay the purchase order that was created uh, purchase organization purchase, purchase group my purchase requisition okay system says uh, that the requisition was successfully converted uh, so system uh, delivers a, a warning message that says uh, that I already have a contract for this this material but no problem, the system has created uh, my purchase order. Uh, if I'm not wrong, if you go double click over here, uh, system will open the purchase, purchase order. And it's here. Uh, okay guys, so this is exactly what I would like to show you. Uh, system has created the purchase order automatically. Uh, as I said before, through automation, um, 500 is the quantity that came from the purchase requisition. 10 reais is the value that came from the loft. Oh, sorry, from my info record. Remember, info record we have created before. That is over here. 
double click it's here okay uh, also system brings the purchase requisition that was created previously by MRP it's okay also if you go here in the invoice uh, the tax code we have uh, chosen before in my info record is over here well this is it um, as you can see it works it works fine is totally standard tool I didn't it was not necessary to perform any configuration uh, all you have to do is just to know what fields you must set up and just perform some tests and define the best way you're going to use that okay and finally I would like to show you that uh, system has closed my purchase requisition based on transaction code MA uh, MA 59N okay that's it uh, we have performed this transaction code too we have just viewed the, the purchase order and thank you very much for watching and see you in our next tip of the day bye bye